Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial, it's Andy here from AM Media Games and in this video I'm going to show you how to do this. So, without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how it's achieved. So the first thing we're going to do is, we're going to create a block in our scene and we're going to also use the fracture which is shift and six. So, I'm going to delete these two. Get rid of them out the scene so I can show you exactly how to set it all up. So we're going to get rid of that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So we go to selection mode at the top where it says uh, modeling. So we cl click up here and then we go down to modeling. And in here we're going to select um, a type of object that we want. So it can be any of these. It can be an arrow if you want, a disc, rectangular, uh, flat plane, stairs, torus. Uh, cone, cylinder, sphere, or a box. So we're just going to be simple today. We're just going to connect, uh, click on box and select it, and then we're going to drag that into our scene and set this up. So we're going to click. We don't need to add any subdivisions because it's going to be calculated by Chaos, the fracture simulation. So we're going to click accept, and what we're going to do now is it's literally just a few clicks and it's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to click up here, go to Fracture. So we want to highlight the object that we want to fracture before we click on New. So we're going to select our cube and then we're going to go to New. I'm going to give it a name. So it's going to come up with Geometry Collection Name. So what we want to do is call this Breakable uh, Box or Block. I think I already named something Block. Uh, no, that's good. So then once we give it a name, we just click on Create Geome uh, Geometry Collection. Once that's done, you'll notice that it will change to this yellow and grey texture. Just like this. So if you can see the same as what you can see on my screen right now, then you're good. So, over here on the left hand side, we have our type... <coughs> excuse me. We have our type of fracture. So we've got Uniform cluster, radial, planar, slice, brick, uh, mesh and custom. So we're going to click on uniform and um, if we go inside the cube you'll notice that it's added these, oh there's a bit of a, a Z fight there, so we've, add, we've added, it's added these lines through the cube which is basically the cut points to create the pieces that will fracture away from the original shape. So when it takes damage each one of these will fall away, um, depending on how much damage it receives. So, to do this, we're going to also check out the settings. So, what we're going to do now is if we go to scroll down and we go down to fracture and we click fracture, you'll notice that now it's cut the object how we want it. And you can see there it's in its separate parts. So we can see all of these different shades, these different texture colors. So these are all the different parts that it's cut and fractured the object to. As we can see, as we go inside, we have different pieces all glued together. So this is going to basically simulate pieces falling off like a wall or a large building or anything, anything you want. So. The next step, we're going to go over to our details panel on the right hand side. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to get rid of that, that ugly uh, color panel on there by go down to show bone colors. I'm going to tick that. Now because this is quite uh, CPU heavy, um, if you want to, you can increase performance by enabling Nanite just because there's going to be multiple um, meshes in the scene. So we're going to go up to where it says rest collection. We're going to double click on the cube picture. And in this panel, let's drag that to there. <coughs> so in this panel, we're going to scroll down and we can see enable Nanite. This is going to allow Nanite to be used to calculate the LOD for our object, which will increase performance. So with Nanite enabled and the object automatically simulating physics, if we go into the game, Let's create one more cube. So we're going to sh uh, hold left sh Alt key and then click and drag to make a duplicate copy of that broken block. 
I'm going to drag that one nice and high up and you'll notice as soon as you start the scene it will fall and this block will fracture the one below so over on the right side you'll see a damage threshold so this is the first layer second layer and the third layer so as you get deeper inside the cube these are the different parts that will fracture so let's set this one to 5000 5000 and 5000 just over here and um, if you ever want to go back to the defaults you can just click on these two uh, undo arrows so now if we go in you can see that the top block broke even more than the bottom one because it was weaker because it had a high uh, a lower damage threshold so again we can go back in now and we can do let's say multiple of these so let's click on that and snap that to that top block and we'll do another one and then we'll offset this slightly let's play so have a play around with this um, it's super easy to use it's it's really fun to, to mess around with and set up um, all you'll do is create an object so this quick refresh go to modeling pick your object accept and then you want to go back to where it says modeling mode go to fracture click new you're gonna name <coughs> you're gonna name this to whatever you want it to be so building piece or uh, fracture object anything you want to name it at all it doesn't matter what you put here um, and then once you've done that you can turn off the show bone colors on the object and then you go to uh, cluster radial brick mesh custom planar slice or uniform so I'm going to do cluster on this one and then we can select how many clusters so let's say 10 and 10 so there's more pieces you can see it's crazy amount of slices and cuts in there and then what we do is we scroll down click fracture go back out of this mode and you can see now we've got the um, we've got this one which is cluster and this one which was I think was it uniform and then we go over here place our block on there and let's play you can see this one's stronger so only one piece fell off so if you want it to be weaker and take more damage then all you do is go to index where it says damage threshold set that to 5000 you don't have to use 5000 you can set it to any value you like the higher the value the harder it will be to break so let's play and you can see there it's already starting to cluster and fall to pieces and just for visualization so we can see that nanite is working we go to mask and we can see there that all of the pieces that fall off and including the original the cube all are working perfectly fine with nanite as well so that's how you use the um, fracture the chaos fracture system within unreal engine 5 any questions leave them in the comments uh, I hope this was educational. If you enjoyed this video, you found it simple to follow, click that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. It really helps me out and it gives me, obviously, more motivation to make more videos and it helps the channel grow, which is really appreciated. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned. There is another t tutorial coming possibly today or tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye for now.